Hello and good morning, how are you doing? This is Dan. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to buy Bitcoin correctly. Why am I saying correctly? It's because there are some ways that you can just buy the Bitcoin and then you are just going to incur losses without even you being aware of it. Now, this method I'm going to show you over here is just going to help you in many ways. One of it is just you can be able even to trace how much you have made in Kenya shillings in your local currency, how much you are making and that amount to just be updating okay and now this also will just help you to trace the losses and also to know where the market is just moving and all that this is the correct method that you have to be using no matter whether you are pro whether you are beginner by the way if you are just a beginner in the cryptocurrency you are just beginning maybe to train right over there this video is just going to be simple since i'm going to explain right from the beginning i have to the end where you just have to understand everything or you can just do make sure that you subscribe to this channel like this video if you just consider it to be very important to you and also leave a comment section let me just know what you think if you have any question you you can also leave it down on over there i'll make sure that i reply all your questions right down on over there so we are starting this video right after this intro <music> this is my binance application but as you can see maybe it just differs from yours thing that you just have to be doing over here by turning this application to be a pro just like this anytime you just want to train on binance you have to turn this binance application into pro how you can just do that make sure that you click on the left side up there on the profile because you know anything that just start with the like a human like a face you just click there you can see binance lead if you just turn binance lead it will just come to maybe what you have you see somewhere written binance pro you just turn to the pro and then you just have pro you have a account just like mine right over here the next step that we just have to be doing right over here i send that you can even start this from beginners that's why i'm not emitting everything the next thing is to go to the wallet and the moment you just go to the wallet you can see this buy and deposit like click buy because maybe you want to buy and you can see you can deposit money first of all you have to deposit from your mpesa bank account and all that the only thing i just recommend over here is to use bank transfer people all this but avoid credit and debit card the reason i'm between the I'm, I'm, I'm i don't like visa card and mastercard is just because there's a changes that you just incur when you're just doing that i prefer p2p trending on the binance uh because of many reasons out there yeah so we are going to buy not btc but we are going to buy usdt the reason we are buying usdt because usdt is a stable coin and that is the step that is what you have to know right over here buy usdt usdt is a very very stable coin all over more than all of them usdt is the first stable coin we can just be talking about right over here so the moment you just click over here you can just buy maybe an amount of money you just want and the moment you just do that after buying from uh that is p2p trading use that when you buy usdt and your money just goes goes to the funding wallet the next step you just be taking over here is to transfer that amount of money from funding wallet to the spot wallet you have to transfer from funding to the spot wallet because binance has so many wallet in that and you can train differently in those wallet as i explained in my previous video you watch that but just follow what i'm saying just transfer over here you just have to click you can see you just have to select which is usdt and then you just funding in a parcel coin you and then spot have to be down and then you select the coin as usdt you click maximum or any amount your money you just want to trend with and then you confirm transfer i don't want to forget this the minimum you can just start start trending with is ten dollars which is equivalent to 1250 currently because the usdt one usdt is just going at 124 kenya so you can just convert and see you need at least 1200 or 1300 kenya shillings you can convert any amount of money you just want in your currency and you can see how much you just need to start trending right over here and as you can see right over here now the next step you just be 
are taking over here is now to trend and you have to be clicking trend look down one angalia chini kabisa kuna kitu imeandikwa trends just click over here and that is where we start trending now buying bitcoin we want is to trend with the usdt the reason we are doing that is because we don't want to buy bitcoin directly so that we can just we want to buy using usdt so that we can just be monitoring our amount of money we just be making or losing over here you have to put any amount of uh unataka kununua bitcoin ikifika price gani maybe you want to buy bitcoin ikifika 23700 23800 23000 but, but I mean in the analysis zako zinasema that way you can even just decide to buy at the market price the moment you just click buy for example you click buy up it will just buy at the current price that is 23800 or whatever you can see over here as i said you need 10 dollars to start this so at the moment okay i prefer i mean if you just want to know the market is just going to rise maybe instantly you can buy at the market price or you can just buy at any limit you just want you can put your limit if price is kifika the market will execute itself and it will gear the market simple like that yes now as i was saying you can see uh for example let me just show you over here if okay umenunua price ikipanda maybe after buying you can even decide after sometimes you are going to sell the btc and you can see for me when i just click sell over here and then i just click for example 100% itanionyesha sai i have made for example to say me you have let me just show you click sell you can see for example now i have bitcoin worth 90.36 usdt and when 90. 30 price ikipanda for example can see ni wakati bitcoin itakuwa inatoka 23826 what if bitcoin ifike 27000 eh hiyo price itapanda the i have a bitcoin worth maybe 120 usdt kenya shillings and i can just decide to sell that a moment you just sell that you will have profit and the reason you have to be buying using the trade is because there is minimum losses there, there, there is no risk that i just involved over here if you trade on the features my friend maybe you are going to make mistake and you are going to lose your money right over here trading on the uh, on the spot is just the easiest thing that you can just do right over here you can see when i click another 100% it has gone to 90.40 when the price goes from 23 853 so that's how the price you monitor how much you have made down one over there and in in the spot over here you can just decide to sell any amount you can sell 25 maybe umesota sota kidogo na unataka kutoa pesa kidogo tu unatoa 25% 50% of what am unaweka hapo chini kumeandikwa 90.4 unatoa as long you kwe above 10 unaweza toa 10 USDT 20 100 kama uko na mingi unatoa tu and then una sort yeah kind of that and you can also hand you can just decide to continue buying bitcoin out of that does that become very easy so it's just very easy on how to uh, join bitcoin to buy bitcoin in that manner because you just be able to be tracing everything right there on the bitcoin in a very easy now how to be monitoring your money how it will just be going maybe in kenya shillings ta queen increase in kenya shillings as kama utakuwa unaona hapo kwa photo you have to be going to the settings and the moment you just click setting you going to be currency and the moment you just click currency you have to click your local currency for me i'm in kenya i'm going to be selecting that is kes the moment you just click is kes on the overview you will see money in kenya shillings fluctuating it you in a change hapo ndio unajua my account ilikuwa nilideposit 10000 na ukienda kuangalia your account unaona ina reflect 20000 that means you have made an 20000 extra not even going and calculating again unakuwa tu una click up wallet una click spot unaona how much you have made for example i deposited 10000 you can see now it is moving up to 10900 but nikienda kuuza hii pesa kwa p2p of course itakuwa increase itakuwa more than 11000 you know na something very interesting right over here so that is how it goes by using the the, the, the methods i've just shown you if you have any question leave it in the comment section i'll be glad to attend and reply or your comment subscribe and uh, like this video see you next time i love you good night goodbye